Hey guys, it's Brenda from my Wee Beaver's Kindle. I have a Leo with me. And he's sleeping. I got the passage of fish for him. It, it actually works better if I added another magnet into the back. Oh, he is so sweet. <laughs> I'm here to do Anne's tail. For real, guys, I feel like I can't yell. I feel like I'm too loud. <gasps> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> oh, me. It's like, seriously, I don't want to wake him up. That's what it feels like. Like, it's, it's just. He feels real. He looks real. Like my sons. <laughs> Anyways, I have my laptop here and I am doing Anne's Colorful Life tag. And I will link her video in a card and down below. Um, let me just make sure I got her channel name correct. <laughs> but it's Anne, Anne's Colorful Life. And she did a tag video called About My Dolls. And my new tag, About My Dolls, hope you enjoy. Oh, I enjoyed it. <laughs> it's going to be fun. So she has 10 questions, okay? 10. Okay. <laughs> so, so, okay, I'm going to... Because seriously, I feel like I'm yelling. So I'm going to pretend that he is awake and just resting. <laughs> oh. Okay. Or maybe. Okay, you're not sleeping. Let's pretend. But. Yeah, let's just hang out on my shoulder. Oh. <laughs> what did they do? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Let's see if you can see him while I read. <laughs> okay, 10 questions. Number one. Oh, I'm sorry, my Facebook is on. <sighs> okay. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, maybe I'll just exit so we're not interrupted by sounds. Okay. Ten questions. Number one. Do you have more dolls with hair, painted hair, or bald? My collection is really huge. I do have all those types, including combi hair, which it means combination hair of painted and rooted. I have a couple of dolls like that, but most of my dolls in my collection have hair, rooted hair. Number two, do you have more dolls with black brown hair, auburn red hair, and blonde hair in your nursery? Some of you might already obviously know that a huge portion of my collection is black or brown hair. However, I do have quite a few redheads, surprisingly. Redheads are in my family. I have quite a few cousins with red hair because um, my, oh sorry, my dad's eldest brother married somebody with red hair and same with his other brother married somebody with red hair. So their children have a lot of cousins and aunties with red hair. So um, I do have quite a few redheads in my collection as well. And I have a few blondes in my collection because my son, uh, Brendan, he, when he was born, his hair was so blonde it looked white. 
So <laughs> is, is brown now that he's older, but when he was young, it was super blonde. But most of them, oh my goodness, I promised myself I wouldn't be rambling. Okay, black brown hair. Number three, do you have more girl dolls or boy dolls? Girl dolls. Although I have lots, but girl dolls. Number four, do you and it's also starting to sweat in here. And he is actually heavy. <laughs> Just like a real baby. Oh my goodness. I'll put him here for now. Okay. Do I use disposables? Diapers or cloth diapers? I use both. I do own both. I own more disposable different prints. There was a time in my career, <laughs> in my hobby collecting, that I wanted different prints. So I'd buy like Huggies, uh, Pampers, um, generic of different stores. <laughs> and then the Honest came out, the Honest, Honest print diapers. Yeah. I... <laughs> Number five, hurry up. Do I have Reborns, manufactured silicone, American Girl dolls, cloth dolls, etc. in my nursery? Most of the dolls I own are actual Reborns. They're authentic, uh, one-of-a-kind Reborns with a kit sculpted by an artist and then repainted by a Reborn artist. I do, however, own a couple of manufactured dolls. Um, I have a couple of the La Lava Bella, I always say Lala Bella, I mean Lava Bella dolls, they're manufactured, they're the robot dolls, and I own a few partial silicones that are actual, like, like, reborn, what are silicone, well, they're also done by reborn artists, a silicone artist, uh, authentic silicone reborn partial silicones oh my goodness i feel like i'm tripping over my words here i don't own any american girl dolls i didn't even know they existed until after i got into this hobby i do however own and collect baby alive dolls i've been addicted to those a while not so much anymore because i have so many um what else do I have? Oh, I tried a Behringer doll. I wanted to try an Adora doll. Those are manufactured. Um, what else? Oh, a Bolance silicone budget baby doll, which is a manufactured silicone um, baby doll. Um, and what else? Oh, and Anne herself, who did this tank, she gifted me a Paradise Gallery doll, which... I also love so much. Um, oh, okay, good. <laughs> it went dark. Um, so, but as a Canadian, it's very hard for me to get a hold of Paradise Gallery dolls. However, I can get Ashton Drake's. So I own a f many Ashton Drake's. I also own a Masterpiece doll that was manufactured by Ashton Drake. All this butt feels so real. Feels like you need a change. Hey, getting distracted. Well, I get distracted easy. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but yeah, Ash and Drake. And what else do I own? I own a lot of stuffed animals, tons of stuffed animals, um, cloth toy dolls, like from the the toy store, just little ones, but. Uh, but most of my collection are Reborns. Number six. Have you ever received a Reborn manufactured or silicone doll that disappointed you? There was one time during all of this journey that I was actually... No, sorry. I just remembered two times. Twice. Okay, one time on an actual Reborn... Like, I have Reborns with so-called boo-boo. That means there's something defective on them, like a like paint missing or paint chipping or, or like, you know, something. Um, there was a time when I was disappointed. And I actually did a video about that. 
<coughs> excuse me, reborn disappointments in the reborn world. There was one time, um, the ones who came to me with a defect I knew about, and it was disclosed, 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 <laughs> it was disclosed. How come when I say it out loud, it sounds weird? I read it so many times. <laughs> Disclode is a word. Yes, it's a word. Dis oh my goodness. What's wrong with me? I think it's this heat. Okay, little Leo. I have to put you down because he's just getting heavy. I mean, look at this. Look at this heavy, heavy little butt. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, if you were a squ I could swear you are squirming a little one. <laughs> it's me who's squirming. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, they were disclosed. Disclosed. Uh, that sounds so weird to me. Disclosed. Oh my goodness. Disclosed. Dis disclosed. <laughs> <laughs> and the ones with those boo-boo babies I knew about so when I opened them I knew about them there was one of my dolls that came to me she had a rip like where like in her cloth body but because I wanted her so bad it was okay to me the the seller did not tell me about the tear in her, or did she? I can't remember. But it was easily fixed. I don't know if I was disappointed on that. I was a little disappointed, but I fixed her. Um, but there was one time when I bought a doll, and there was a mark. Like It looked like a melting, like it was in her leg, and it looked like a hot, like, you know those wooden... Um, why can't I think of it? Those, what are they called? You know those hot pens that you can etch in the wood? One of those. Almost like a welding tool. But it wasn't a welding tool. It was like a wood burning tool. It looked like she got scorched. Like a little bit in her leg. Now... I accept the doll. I love the doll. She's one of my favorites. But the thing that disappointed me was that the seller did not tell me about this mark at all. So, like, for me, when I sell a doll, which I've never sold a doll in many, many years, but I disclose everything. That's the word, disclose. <laughs> disclose everything. And she didn't even tell me about this big burn mark on the leg. That disappointed me. Um, another thing that disappointed me that I remembered at the last second was, even though this doll is beautiful, the Adora doll, my um, Hallie Janessa, I named her. Uh, I forget what real, what real sculpt doll it is, but it's by Adora. But they are really small. They're like really a true doll. A doll length. They're not even close to. Like I love these Reborns. Because they are authentically true to size. True like you know. But this doll. It was supposed to be a toddler doll. She's really cute. Really pretty. But she was really small. That was what disappointed me. So, But I kept her. Of course I kept her. And I will keep her. But she is my doll. I'll probably let Carly have her. Carly is my child. Reborn doll. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. I did. Number six, yes. But only two out of pots. <laughs> Number seven. Is there really such a thing as, this is my last reborn doll? No. No. <laughs> Never. Even when I say, oh, I don't have any more money or nothing. Yeah. Give it a year or two and you'll buy another. Um, <laughs> well, for me, 
there is no such thing as a last reborn doll. I remember back when I was first in the hobby, I remember thinking three would be the max and a good number. And then all of a sudden it was, oh, ten. Ten is a good number. No more than ten. But And then the number just kept climbing and climbing. And I think after 40 reborns, I thought, okay, it there's no more such thing. As long as I have room, as long as I have somewhere to put the baby, I will want the baby. And there are babies that I do rotate. Although I don't need to anymore, I have this nursery. I have dolls in here. I still have dolls in my bedroom. And I still have dolls in the living room. But there are no more, like, tucked away. Like, this one is because I was working on her. Like, some of the dolls that need work on are tucked away. So, there is no, for me personally, there is no such thing as a last reborn doll. Oops. There is such a thing as this is my last reborn doll from such and such a person. There is such a thing like that. And that happened to me a couple of times. I was, um, I was scammed before in the reborn hobby, but one in particular, I was almost scammed and it was worth my partial silicone was worth so much money because it's a prototype and it was a number one signed by um C C no C V Whitting C V Whitting or or the Russell. Oh, I forget right now, but my Nathaniel Levi, he is a Charlotte Sculpt number one prototype and that doll was worth a lot of, of money. And I was, the reborn doll person I bought this from was in the States. And yeah, I'm just sticking to my own country now. I've dealt with so many custom disappointments with fees and shipping and almost being scammed or the item being sent back and then sent back to me and oh my goodness such a headache so there is such a thing as this is my last reborn doll from such and such a person there is that so <laughs> number eight name a few of my favorite dolls at this moment well obviously it's the leo oh leo He's going to be my favorite for quite some time. Oh, my thing went down. Um, basically, any of the dolls that you see, like, out on display, like, actually on display, they're my favorite babies. So, so just saying. <laughs> okay, number nine. Is there a doll you really want to get next? I got my Max. I got him. Honestly, I try and stay away from McPherson's. I don't look at kits anymore. <laughs> I didn't even know about this one until Wendy gave me an opportunity. I'm like, she was saying that she ha she ordered two Maxes, one for herself and one for uh, somebody uh, else. <laughs> Or somebody, like, you know, just a client. And um, I was in that client at that time. She was kind of wondering, like, should I make it to go? Like, to should I make it ready-made? Or should I wait for a custom? And blah, blah, blah. And then she's like, it's a Max sculpt. And I'm like, oh, yeah, Max. <laughs> but then she said, yeah, Max by Lorely Eagles. And I'm like... You had to mention Lordly Eagles. <laughs> that is my favorite sculptor out of everybody. I mean, I love Bonnie Brown. Very, very close. But Lordly Eagles takes my heart. Because her baby sculpts are exactly like me and my family. So I'm like, you just had to mention that, didn't you? <laughs> so I decided to get this little one as a custom 
because as my celebration baby doll so i did so what was the question is there a doll you really want to get next uh, hopefully not but there might be in the future and if there is it better not be until after i get a permanent job <laughs> Oh, just saying. I'm in a I'm in a weird mood because it's hot in here, and sometimes my personality does get into like. <laughs> I think that's why my kids love me so much. My students say, "Oh, you're so funny, Miss Allen." I can be, <laughs> I guess. Okay, number ten, the last one. Have you ever forgotten the name of one of your dolls? The names might escape me for like a minute, but I do remember them all. I'm very good at remembering names and only I wonder if it's because I'm a teacher and I've taught so many kids. I mean, of course, I forget a name here and there, but for the most part, um, it'll come back to me pretty. But I would say for the most part, I know all of the dolls' names. However, there was probably a time that I did forget the name of my doll, so, but it doesn't happen very often. I'm just looking around. I know them all, Jericho and Zyla. Oh, uh, who else in there? Oh, Ponette. I, I don't know. Let's see who I forget their name. I am just rambling. I really hope that you guys enjoyed spending some time with me. Ah, oh my Leo, my Leo is going to be my newest, and he smells so good too. He, did you hear me breathe so calmly? See how this hobby does you? It's like, oh, I want to say, I saw a post. Can we? I saw a post from one of my friends in real life she has young children and she posted something about like a mom's temperament and why she could be feeling anxiety and stress and why she might like snipe at you like like snip snip at you bark at you um because she's feeling agitated and worried and anxiety and blah, 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 and her life and her baby is crying and she doesn't know why and she's like oh. but i remember that i remember feeling like that i have three young sons when eric was a young baby my other two were like i had a toddler a two-year-old and then a preschooler a four-year-old so I know what all that anxiety and is all about. I know that. But this hobby, it's like you get your baby fix without zero anxiety and zero stress and zero, like, I'm, I'm never like that. It's just pure relaxing. Especially when they're asleep and they look peaceful. It's so peaceful and so calming. And they feel real and they smell real and they look real. And then you can put them down and not worry about them. And not worry about the crying or the diaper changing or make sure you have food, like baby food on hand if they're you know, at that age baby cereal you don't have to worry about washing anything um no projectile vomit everywhere <laughs> my middle son used to do that oh my goodness so before i ramble on forever i just want to say thank you guys so much for being here and spending time with me and it's probably because it's been a while since i made a video I know that. So, oh, I wonder if the light actually looks better on me without. <laughs> it 
anyways guys thank you so much for spending some time with me i really really appreciate it and i can't believe how many views i got on his box opening thank you guys it means a lot when you want to share the moment with me and comment down below i really love your interaction and i do reply to everybody so thank you guys so much for making me feel like i'm somebody here <laughs> i really like it i really appreciate that so anyways ooh, what time is it okay i just looked at the time i need to go um i do wash this by the way so i will be doing some baby laundry oh baby laundry smells so good the only thing i won't wash are those sailor outfits but everything else <sighs> baby laundry smells so good it smells so lovely i love this it's a really relaxing day did i tell you that all my sons are here but at this moment they're not <laughs> so i'm kind of like taking in this peaceful and especially before i start teaching <laughs> So, uh, next term I have grade 8, um, my grade 7s. It'll be good. It'll be good. So, anyways, guys, I love you. Thank you for being here through all my ramblings. I know I ramble a lot. Um, I just, I like spending time with you guys. Thank you so much for being here. And spending time, how many times did I say that? <laughs> But I do, I mean it. I mean it, guys. Thank you. Give me a hug. Wait. So, anyways, guys, hope that you have a great day. I really love when you're here for me. Thank you so much, guys. I just want to hug you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Match a hand. Match a hand, guys. Love you so much. Bye, guys. Until next time. I guess bye Ed. Oh my goodness. And I meant for a five minute video and I don't know how long it's